In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect electronic drums to GarageBand Mac. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna give you easy to follow instructions on how to set up any model of electronic drums that you have with GarageBand on a Mac. For this video, I chose to showcase this process with the Elise's Nitro Max electronic drums, but of course, any electronic drum kit will work. You basically have to establish a physical connection between the module on your e-drum and the PC or laptop where you are running GarageBand. So for this particular model, as you can see on the official user manual, they recommend using a USB connection. But another very popular connection type is going to be MIDI, so I'm going to be presenting both. If you have to use USB, you simply plug one end of the proper cable into the electronic drum module and then the other one into your PC or laptop. So for this one, it is going to be a USB-B cable. So you plug it in here and then the other end goes into any of the available USB-A ports on your PC or laptop. So just make sure that they are securely plugged in and that the drum kit gets detected inside of your Mac. You might have to download additional software or update the drivers depending on your model. So just follow the instructions accordingly. Usually they will be downloaded automatically and you simply have to approve it. Alternatively, if you have a MIDI connection, once again, you plug one end of the cable into the module. So once the MIDI cable has been properly connected to the module, you plug the other end into your PC. You can use a MIDI to USB adapter if you prefer to make this connection easier. The baseline is that in summary, you have to establish this physical connection. And with this done, you are good to go. You can now run GarageBand, access the preferences, and check to see under the Audio MIDI tab if everything is set up correctly. Double check your audio and input device, and you can see the status for the MIDI inputs that you have connected. As long as everything is good to go, you will be able to start recording and everything will be available for you to manage. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what the change and what effects it has over this, but like I said, you can easily start this by establishing a physical connection between the electronic drum kit and GarageBand or your PC and laptop by using the proper cable. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect electronic drums to GarageBand Mac. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.